Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Moon Goddess Oracle. Welcome to my channel. This reading can be yours if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And this is about what they are not telling you, what they are trying to hide from you. Let's uh, look into this using the Angels and Ancestors deck to find out about your person. So the energy shows up for them is spring. See your seeds grow. I feel that they've um, had the intention to create something with you. And they planted some seeds already or they are just in the process of sowing those seeds. That's what Spirit is showing me. Like, you know, different plants, different flowers have different times when they need to go, the seeds need to go into the ground. And um, so they are doing some kind of work here in regards to their intentions. And the bottom of the deck is arrow surround yourself with protective energy so they do have some kind of intention that's what i am feeling very strongly um the arrow is like i know exactly what i want but they are you know like the seeds needs protection at the beginning um this is very interesting so something is happening soon okay let's look into this more so what is this? See your seeds grow. Obviously seeds are hidden in the ground and then they are starting to come out. So they are hiding something for now. Some intentions. What is it that they are showing you right now? Overload, ten of wands. And how they truly believe uh, things are. What is behind the scenes? The Voyager. Now, this one is the Knight of Cups. So, I feel that what they are hiding is that they have love for you. Yeah. They want to come in. They want to reach out. They want to talk to you. Okay, interesting. So they are showing the wants, ten of wands, overload. They have so much to deal with. They could be actually overwhelmed in every way possible. But underneath that, they are connecting with their emotions and they are planning some kind of union with you. Okay, so let's look into this. What is this overload energy that they are showing to you right now? Grief, Ten of Swords. What else? What else? Alchemy. Yeah, look at that. So right now they are in this um, very um, gloomy mood and... Um, one part of them is still holding that hope that they can manifest what they want and they believe there is a positive change that is coming because they feel heartbroken and they want to change that. Yeah, what they are dreaming about, Page of Cups with the Ten of Cups, is the um, happily ever after that um, they, they feel they can have with you and they are gaining clarity in this situation. Possibly it is a separation, no contact situation. Okay, so what is this Knight of Cups about? Beginning, okay, and the unknowable. So in the background, they are planning a new beginning with you listening to their intuition they don't know how things are going to be how they are going to work out but somehow at some point they want to get in touch with you and um, they want to express 
their love to you. And they are likely to come in as the king of wands with integrity, making that decision to come forward. That's the two of pentacles and the five of cups disappointment. So they don't want to be in this energy of disappointment anymore. They want to do something about it. Now, let's check out who you could be dealing with so far. We've got Virgo and uh, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Cancer, yeah, that's so far what we have. So I feel this person is planning to come towards you. That is the wisdom keeper with the six of cups, passion and mother nature. So this is a hierophant and a empress energy could be dealing with the Taurus or a Libra. The Six of Cups is the reconciliation, the reunion. Um, they see you as the Empress and they believe they are the Hierophant. This comes with lots of nature energy, both of them, and uh, being grounded and ancestral wisdom and... Um, I don't know, this is a very nice energy that is showing through. What, what is this Wisdom Keeper about? What, what they want? What is their intention? Love, the lovers, union, very strongly. And coming in as the Knight of Wands with this rule. So... Um, Knight of Wands energy could be passion, could be player. Uh, right now, I don't know exactly what that is. You could be dealing with a Gemini. What is this Knight of Wands about? What is this energy about? Liberation, that's judgment. And Ace of Pentacles. So it's uh, they want a prosperous new beginning with you. I like this judgment card in a sense that um, there are wings and heart, so they could have been suffering, struggling without you, receiving some kind of karma, and now they want to turn that around. It's Scorpio energy as well. Um, is this? Does it mean they actually worked on themselves? Honesty, Page of Pentacles with Triumph. So I feel their intentions can be pure. King of Cups showing up. And there is a turning point towards uh, their wishes and the balancing act. So it's possible that they come to some kind of a realization and right now, in the process of balancing themselves, that's the Justice card Libra energy, Aquarius. And this one is the Chariot, Cancer. Okay, so it feels like they learned some kind of lesson here. What did they learn? Yeah, karma. Transitioning. Rest. Yeah, there was some healing happening in the background. Um, we've got temperance with the karma and uh, transitioning is the death card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. You woke them up in some way to see the truth of their feelings, uh, how they are towards you. And um, it ignited some kind of rebirth, some kind of healing within them. That's very nice. Okay. So what is this rebirth going to be? Seven of Wands, adaptability. Okay. The order, the emperor at the bottom. Okay, they are still quite protective of themselves. They know what they want. This is the Queen of Pentacles. Support. They want support. They want 
Mm. Okay, this Queen of Pentacles. The okay, Seven of Swords reversed, Six of Swords reversed. They don't want to walk away from this. They don't want to be in the, the deceptive energy anymore. They want to come clean because they know that's the only way to get back to your good books. And they also see you as a Queen of Wands. So Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, these are the energies. There is passion. There is love. Okay. Um, the jury is still out. I don't, I don't know whether they actually could change because um, it's like this, this uh, wolf wearing a sheep um, skin. It says that they did change. They want to show their true face, their true feelings. Step out of the norm in a sense, being different from the rest, being okay with that. You possibly inspire them to be who they are, to dare to be who they are, the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So yeah, they have been doing some work and some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. So what they are not showing you is that behind the scenes, they are plotting a plan to come back to you sometime in the spring and unite to to do maybe what they have done wrong in the past to correct come clean be honest tell you how they truly feel that the two of you are like a heart with a key welcoming love opening your heart, getting together. Yeah, these are some very important revelations here that uh, they were moving through. Okay, so what is it that the love angels want you to know? Overthinking, actions speak louder than words. So playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at the first place. This is for you, Virgo. And actions speak louder than words. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. So be, be on the watch out when they are reaching out, when they are coming in. And you will be able to tell whether they are sincere there is distance also. The separation you are experiencing is necessary to have the relationship grow. And I think that growth is happening. Interesting. So Virgo, oh my God, look at that, the bottom of the deck again, twin flame. This person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so secret to you. So this came out twice. Guys, you could be in a twin flame connection who are watching this twice, two different decks. It's um, not a coincidence. Okay, so Virgo, I feel that um, we, we got to the bottom of this. They definitely are making it look like that they are dealing with so much stuff. They are not interested in you. They are moving away, but in the background, they want a new beginning, a, a union with you, and it could be happening at one point in the spring. Well, in the no Northern Hemisphere spring time, which we are already in, just started. So let me know whether this is your story, how it resonates. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Do check out my new show on Gnostic TV. The link will be in the description box. box, box. <laughs> and um, let me know um, whether you enjoyed the show. Take care. Bye for now.